So in this video, we'll be going over problem two from the module two homework. This problem was out of expert TA. Um, I did not just use the problem from expert TA because their images are copyrighted. So that's why this is recreated here in Excel. <clears throat> so I saw some questions on the discussion board about this problem. So thought it might be helpful for a video. I saw a lot of a good starts to this problem um, you know we're asked to find the acceleration at 10 seconds and many of you knew immediately that the slope of a velocity versus time graph tells you the acceleration because acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time which is just slope so I saw many of you do that, and you used the two-point slope formula, but you weren't getting the correct answer. Now, I want to just highlight that you got the approach correct. I mean, that was the way to go. Knowing, recognizing that the slope of velocity versus time graph is acceleration, and that you need to use the two-point slope formula to find that. That was like 75% of the problem right there. So the, the extra 20% percent is choosing the correct two points based off of what region you're interested in so we're interested in finding the slope at 10 seconds <clears throat> so what I think many who got it wrong did <clears throat> was you chose those two points right here to get the slope or the acceleration at 10 seconds by choosing those two points right here, you're finding the slope in this region right there. So you want to take a step back and you want to say, okay, I'm looking for the slope at this point. What two points around it will give me the best representation of what that slope is? Because what's important about this region right here is it's a crossover region. The velocity is changing in this region. That means the acceleration is going to be different. And so since we're in this region, and just in general, you want to make sure you choose the two points when finding the slope so that the region that you're interested in lies in the middle. So this is the region we're interested in. We want to choose the next two adjacent points so that that region is in the middle. And so that means the next two adjacent points, this is point two, this is point one, those are our next two adjacent points. And so we use the two point slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is just v2 minus v1 over t2 minus t1. And so taking our values from the table, we find that's equal to 228 meters per second minus 165 meters per second, all over 19.8 seconds minus zero seconds. So you can cancel seconds. Do not cancel out. That is a mistake I saw um, throughout and clearly I just made. Uh, this is approximately like 3.1, I forget off the top of my head, meters per second squared. So the seconds come down and the seconds combine. They don't cancel. So that was, that was a mistake I saw and clearly... Even I can make that mistake uh, when rushing and not thinking about things. So keep an eye out for that. Units always catch yourself. Accelerations, meters per second squared, so we know we're good there. Um, so again, just to kind of summarize, anytime you're finding the, the slope of a curve, whether it be you're given a position versus time graph and you're asked for velocity, or in this case where you're given a velocity versus time graph and you're asked for acceleration, you need to make sure that the point that you're being asked about at that particular time, that that lies in the middle of your two-point slope formula. 
So you choose the two points that are adjacent to the point you're interested in. And if you want to go back and look at module one, you'll see that you did that. If you got the answers correct for, for those, I believe, couple problems that were asking you about either the velocity or the acceleration, that you chose two points where the one you were interested in lied in the middle, meaning you chose the two points that were adjacent to that point that you were interested in. So go back and check that. If you still have questions, just reach out to me and we can talk through this further.